Hi YouTube, it's been a very long day today, but I decided that I would do a video, like a coach notebook tour, and how I use my coach notebook, and how I have decorated my notebook to make it functional for me for everyday use. I got tired of it just sitting around. I got tired of it just sitting around not being used. So let me show you how I um configured mine. So first thing on the outside of this notebook I have is one of these foam grip things. I got this from the dollar store. These things are extremely strong. So if this ever comes off, I'm going to have to replace it with another one because it definitely leaves some glue residue behind. But yeah, that's what I have on the outside of my coach notebook. I can clip keys to it, a charm, palm, whatever. And the inside of my coach, this was a charm I had on it, the coach. On the inside of my notebook... I have this pouch, this is from the Dollar Tree in the stationary section. There's double stick tape on it. So this will peel off. It will come off. I've peeled it off a couple times, but I don't know how many times I'll be able to peel it off before it just loses its stick. But this has stickers in it and the little stationary papers that came with this kit. This is the cover of my coach notebook. It still says coach with the logo. And basically, I just sticker bombed it. So, you know, I would just like it a little more with all type of stickers. And three, these are the 3D gem stickers. All these stickers came from the Dollar Tree. This pouch came from the Dollar Tree. But I'm trying to figure out a more permanent solution to, to have a pouch in the front and it'll stay. The second page, I still have blank spaces. But, you know, it works well with this. It looks like one pink multi-color glittery page on the first page on the back of the cover this is like the little index that is inside most standard composition books i just printed it out and pasted it here and these are calendars that i've stuck one for each page so i have a june and then the back of it is blank to write notes for june this is small, so I can put little lists for June and write little additional notes in addition to the blank space on the back. July is more medium with a few lines for little notes blank on the back. August is like a large, a lot of birthdays in August. September is about as big as I could get it. October, and I just printed all these templates out and just stuck them to my book. I didn't pay for anything. If you try something like this, make sure you use a glue stick and not liquid glue. So this, I have enough pages to go all the way to about July of 2023. These are the planner cover sets from the Dollar Tree. I just cut all the extra pieces off and just left two little loops so they would stick. You see, it will pull the whole book up. Yep, and that's how I made little dividers you could cut some of the top and create tabs if you want to i just didn't care to have tabs so i have a couple of those and on the back of them some of them i have like things like this i just glued to them like this u.s state map and this one i have a first aid kind of guide to various type of emergency situations this, I have emergency scriptures. This is for the upcoming, next upcoming school year. So I have two school timetables, one for each of my daughters for their new schedule. I have an emergency plan, evacuation plan, and emergency supplies list. Important information. All these little templates you could print out online. Just find one that you like and glue them into your book. Contact information services and utilities and that's the end of the book sometimes i keep extra stickers in here mail from the motor vehicle department and on the back i have these phone wallets that i stuck to the back this one has sticky notes in it and this one i'm just have an extra one a bookmark that i'm not using yep so if you want to put a card in there, I know some people like to have cards and, but this is not a, this is not designed like a budget planner. It's just that everyday 
planner notebook with all my, you know, the things I would need for everyday usage. And that's all. Everything that you've seen in here from this pocket to the wallet pockets to the dividers all came from the Dollar Tree. So you can create your planner on a budget. Bye-bye.